All right, Virgo, what is up with you? Let's see where we go today. This is a reading for sun, moon, rising, and north node. Okay, so uh, if you don't know what your north node is, there is a, uh, a little bundle of classes that I've created. There's a link below. You can jump onto that. This is really about your karmic mission and path in this life. And I just want to dip into that energy and see where you are. Okay, so let's see where we go with Virgo. Let's see where we go with Virgo. Okay. Yep. Trust. That's been kind of a theme. <laughs> wow. Okay. I keep seeing this card when I'm shuffling. And this is the first time I believe in this whole series. And you're like almost the last reading I'm doing in this series. That is the first time I've seen that card. Power. Safe travel. Um, some of you are transitioning from one kind of life to another. This is going to require that you assert your own power. It's also going to require that you trust when you step onto that stage. Okay. It's going to require that you know who you are and you're here for a purpose. And I'm here to deliver this kind of monologue, or I'm here to step into this kind of life. It's a self-assurance thing and power energy can be a lot about Saturn. It can also be a lot about Pluto. We do have Pluto direct now um, in Capricorn. It's going to be in Aquarius by the beginning of 2023, sort of the end of January. And that is going to shift everybody's life. Okay. Pluto and Capricorn is Pluto has been in Capricorn since 2008 with a short little burst of Aquarius this year. And I'm telling you this because I want you to take a look at what happened in your life between like March and July of this year of 2023, because that's gonna be an indicator of what's to come. So anything new that kind of burst through or any person that showed up or any kind of idea that glimmered, like the whole structure, if it's been there, you know, it's not gonna stay. There's new things coming in. Aquarius is about innovation. Some of you could be moving, okay? Some of you could be deciding to travel more. Some of you could be like, okay, I'm going to do digital nomad for a while. And Virgo, some of you may feel like, wow, that totally doesn't seem like me. But in the back of your mind, if you've been thinking about this or thinking about a way to be more uh, kind of free and in the world rather than be... Um, in a situation that doesn't allow for travel, maybe you just want to travel. Maybe it's just like, okay, you know what? I really need to get out and see people who aren't like me, or I want to experience a different kind of life. This would be a really good time to start at least thinking about it. Um, when Pluto goes into, um, when Pluto goes into Aquarius next year, there may be some opportunities. So this might be a bigger reading than right now, but we are talking about your mission and path in this life. So Sagittarius underneath, Four of Swords, Eight of Swords. Are you like holding back? Is there a Sag? Because I, I almost feel like some of you may be holding back, wanting to reach out to a Sag. Or this doesn't have to be Sag at all. This can be Archangel Michael. And some of you have been really wanting to go toward um, a Twin Flame or a partner. Three of Cups. Two of Pentacles, Page of Swords. There's been sort of this timid energy here. Not anymore. Chariot and King of Wands. Wow. Okay, so I feel like for a while, there has been something that has needed healing for you. Okay, there definitely has. And if you have been wanting to like, you know, kind of be more dynamic in your work or really wanting to kind of push the envelope, maybe it hasn't been an opportunity. There hasn't been anything showing up. For a while, um, for the next, I'm going to say to you for the next three months, two to three months, there's going to be some big changes as we get into January. There's like celebration. This could start at the end of this month. We have the full moon in Taurus, but releasing anything that's, that's too safe and secure. We're like, we need to take a risk in order to get the next level of security or money or fame or love or whatever it is. We have to really, um, strike out in that direction. Some of you are starting to 
talk about it behind the scenes, like maybe just even with yourself or with your partner or with friends or whatever, you're kind of starting to make some plans or say, I wonder what it's like to live in Portugal, or I wonder what it's like to not have a desk job. I wonder what it's like to be a YouTuber. I wonder what, it, like, I think you're kind of starting to explore that. And I think you're also fighting yourself at the same time with this eight of swords kind of going, why am I thinking about what, what am I talking about? Right? Like you kind of like yelling at yourself. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's going on. Oh, check you out. King of Pentacles. Page of Cups. This is like a new opportunity that's showing up. Like out of the blue. Maybe for work. Eight of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Aries, Leo, Sag. Cancer. Definitely Sag. The Magician. The Six of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, there's love here. Knight of Pentacles, there's Virgo energy. The Five of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so King and Queen of Pentacles here. Some of you are in a situation that's been a long-term sitch that you might be moving away from. Uh, I, I almost feel like some of you have been putting in a lot of work and energy to manifest something new in your life, but you're recognizing that this full moon in Taurus is going to purge um, a situation. To step into the new means to let go of the old. And this is also a card of like self-healing, but also doing things that are good for our best and highest good long-term. This is a long-term play. Okay, which I don't, I wouldn't expect you to do it any differently. You could be dealing with someone who's much more quicker, like much more, much more um, kind of fast, right? That they're making choices fast um, or making, or they have done that in the past. This is a person who can kind of teach you the ropes, the magician here, somebody who knows how to manifest in this world, somebody who knows. I feel like there's some kind of good balance between the two of you. This could be a new uh, direction in your career. I feel like this person has a lot of love for you, okay? I, and I feel like this person cares deeply about you. They want to see you succeed. They want to see you do things that are good for you. I feel like they're watching. This person may be a witness to whatever kind of changes you make. Um, I'm going to uh, clarify the safe travel card here. High Priestess, yeah, watching, waiting, hanged man, suspended in midair, judgment, wow, that's a timeline change, and Capricorn, happening in January, all right, this is happening in January, I, I almost feel like um, there is somebody watching you do this that knows what's going on with you, and I don't feel like they're really saying anything, but I feel like they're kind of supportive um, and very helpful. I think you might have tried to go toward them a couple times. Um, you might have made plans um, to move away from this career. Maybe you had some job interviews and, you know, nothing ever came of it. Or, you know, if you did get an offer, you're like, no, I can't, you know, I can't make that kind of change right now. Um, I just get the feeling that there's like a building self-confidence here. And the building self-confidence might be coming, right, this power, this is Saturn, right? From doing the work. I know Virgo, you like to do the work. Virgo is also a healer. So it's very good healing energy. And I just feel like you're doing the work in terms of what you need to feel safe and secure long-term. You might be, um, I'm getting this hit of like the page of pentacles because we have the knight and queen and king of pentacles, but we don't have the page. The page is about learning something new. We do have the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups is about um, something I love. And we have the Eight of Pentacles right next to it. So I'm going to say to you that this might require some deliberate effort. Saturn is going direct in November. I'll talk more about that in the November readings. And Saturn is about applied effort. Okay, it's about rules and restrictions, but it also, can also be about like, okay, I need to know the rules of the road so I can get in this other lane, so I can go in this other direction. 
power is about Pluto. Power is about Mars, the higher octave of Pluto. No, Pluto is the higher octave of Mars. Um, Pluto's ruling um, Scorpio. Saturn is ruled by, or Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. So there's something here about um, using the rules to make change. It may sound a little bit um, oxymoronic, but it's like when you, oh, oh, what is that saying? Learn the rules like a master so you can break them like an artist, okay? And that is what all great painters, all great artists have in common is that they are masters of their craft and then they break the rules. That's what makes their art so captivating is that there it is something that evokes an emotion. It's not just the regular thing you see. It's not just a, you know, it's not just something that's like, oh, that's nice. It's a painting of a flower. Um, if you see a Picasso flower, there's a different perspective there, right? This can be about your work. It can be creating some kind of different perspective for you so that you're putting in effort and time into something that's going to be a longer term solution for you. There's definitely something that needs to be broken through some mindset, some way of living that doesn't serve you anymore. It certainly doesn't. And we have this power and trust coming in. Wow, that is going to be huge for Virgo. So in the extended, I'll pull cards for each zodiac sign. If you're going toward a person, I'll talk a little bit more about the diving into a new way of life, a brand new way of life for Virgo. Okay, so link is below. If you want to continue on with me, I will see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.